Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons! Good morning. Welcome back to the West Ham Massive. Thanks for joining us. Please don't forget to like, comment on and share this stream to your social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're new around here and don't forget to hit the bell icon for alerts and new content. All these things are free for you to do. Take you a couple of seconds and they help to grow the channel into something bigger and better. And we thank you very much indeed for your support in this matter. So we are here to discuss the Sky Sports Super 6 Match Week 6 the West Ham Massive League. Now, if anybody's watching and is wondering what on earth this is, if you've just stumbled in, stick around. The ticker has just changed at the bottom. If you're interested in joining this, and I will share this on the screen momentarily, if I just press a few little buttons, that will pop up magically. If I can just figure it out. You'd have thought I'd learned how to do this by now. Um, that's the button there that I need. So this is Sky Sports Supers. Let me go back to the homepage. There we go. Okay, so... That is the Sky Sports Super 6. So, you can join, and it's completely free to do so. No, that's the wrong button. There we go. Um, completely free to do so. As you can see the ticker at the bottom, you are looking for the West Ham Massive League, and you put in the uh, website address super6.skysports.com slash league, and you are looking for the West Ham Massive League. If I just sort of go to that particular page there, so if I click there, there it is, the West Ham Massive League. And as it says on the ticker and it says on the screen there, the pin number that you need is Echo Bravo 53 November 8. We currently have 26 members. So this is how it stands at the moment after the previous five game weeks. And uh, well, I, I got to say it, it's there. It's in well, black and white, blue and white, whatever. There I am, top of the page, top of the page, top of the pile, 64 points. And Stephen Dye is in second place with 53. Akbar Hamid is on 50 in third place, etc, etc, etc. But there is an awful lot of ground to cover and that can change before the season is concluded. But as I say, we've got 26 players. Then basically, if you don't know what it is, so you basically have to pick the scores in six selected fixtures that Sky have um, basically earmarked. And these are my predictions as we speak for this game weekend. Um, I may well change this, and I do have scope to change it as I just click this here. The deadline for today's round, round six, is the 21st of September, which is the date that I'm recording this and the date that this will go out, Saturday the 21st of September at 3 p.m. I can change my scores at any point up to that moment in time. And you can see them there. Liverpool win 2-0. Tottenham win 2-1. Villa win 2-1. Man United win 2-1. Brighton win 1-0. And City win 1-0. They are my current predictions. But as I say, that may change before we go into those set of fixtures at 3pm this very day. So let's do a little bit of... Um, little bit of uh, banging of the drum. So obviously Super 6, as I say, it's uh, it's a free to enter game. And if this doesn't get your attention, nothing will. If you predict all six scores completely bang on the money, then you get to win a cool quarter of a million pounds, £250,000 in readies that Sky Sports will give you. Now, you need to have a Skybet account that is completely free to enter and you don't need to make any deposits. Now, I would suggest if you're going to go to the trouble of joining this league, and you can, I know there are some people that are going to say, I've missed the previous five game weeks. Well, I have told this story before. I will tell it again if there's anybody that hasn't heard it. And it may be something that tempts you into sort of coming on board, despite the fact you've missed the previous five match weeks. 
is that my brother is the first one that sort of invited me to a Sky Sports Super 6 league. It was one that he had at his place of work at the time. I'd missed the first six game weekends. I thought, oh, well, whatever. I'll join it. It will be a bit of a laugh. And I ended up winning that particular league. I don't think I was very popular with my brother, but it is what it is. But have a little look before you, you set it up. You do need to be at least 18 years of age to participate. So if you are under the age of 18, you're out of luck. Please do take particular attention to read the frequently asked questions such as these and also make sure that you read the terms and conditions. These are all very important. Um, and I spent many hours scrutinizing every single syllable of all of this. I can tell you. Anyway, um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as that's concerned. So, you know, it's not too late. We'd love to welcome you into the West Ham Massive League. As I say, there's currently 26 members. As far as I'm concerned, the more the merrier. Um, but let's let's get into the, the matches that are taking place that, that you might need to know. If you are in the West Ham Massive League or you're about to join, you might want a little bit of inside information on what's going on with these particular teams. So let's start with the Liverpool against Bournemouth game. So I've got my resource here on the other tab. And the team news is for Liverpool as follows. So Harvey Elliott, he will be completely out of the picture. He is confirmed as an absentee, according to this resource that I'm reading here. Um, also, a doubt is Alison Becker, the goalkeeper. He has uh, emerged as a doubt. He, he may play. He might not play. Um, obviously, if he doesn't play, then they've they've got a fair few goalkeepers um, at Liverpool, haven't they? So uh, I think they've still got Adrian on the books, uh, but they've obviously got Quevin Kelleher and they've obviously got that, that Georgian fella, haven't they? Is it Mamadashvili? So, you know, they've got a few goalkeepers that can sort of slot in there. I don't think that will really be a big problem, but Becker is a very good goalkeeper, it has to be said. If we now look to um, Bournemouth, their team news is Kepa Riza Balaga. He obviously was ineligible to play in the last game against Chelsea because that is his parent club. He's obviously on loan from Chelsea to Bournemouth. Um, and also it looks like uh, uh, Dango Utara and Tyler Adams will also be out of the trip to Anfield. If we look at their head-to-head -head record, their previous six meetings, Liverpool hold the upper hand by a significant advantage of five wins to Bournemouth's one in that sequence. Um, and as I say, you know, you can see there quite clearly, I've gone for a 2-0 Liverpool win. So I, I would tend to agree that that is how it's going to pan out there. Um, Liverpool to win pre pretty sort of like straightforwardly, I believe. Now we move on to the next one. So this, this next match is obviously Tottenham versus Brentford. I've obviously plumped for a 2-1 win to the home team. If we look at their head-to-head -head record first, their previous six matches have produced two wins for Tottenham Hotspur, one win for Brentford, with the remaining three fixtures being draws. If we look at their um, their injury news, then Tottenham have uh, Richarlison. He is definitely out of the picture. Uh, and also doubts for Ange Postacoglu's men are Yves Basuma, Wilson Odebear and Timo Werner, although it is suspected that Yves Bazuma may well be fit enough to play or take at least some part, maybe even from the bench. But Werner and Odebert took knocks in the game against Coventry in midweek. If we look at Brentford, well, that treatment room's quite busy there, it looks like. So we've got um, on this list that I've got here, we've got Thiago, Johan Visser, um, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I'm reading the wrong one. Excuse me. Um, Josh De Silva, Rico Henry, Aaron Hickey, um, Thiago, Gustavo Nunez, Johan Visser and Matthias Jensen. They are all on the injured list at the moment. Um, but it also says here that um, Kevin Sharda will probably be the one that leaves the, leads the line um, for Brentford in their absence. So quite quite a few players there that look like they may or will not make the game to go to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which probably gives Tottenham something of an edge, let alone the fact that they're the home team. And probably, if we're being honest about it, have a, a slightly better quality squad. As I say, I've gone for a 2-1 win 
to the home team there. You may well disagree if you're in this particular Super 6 league. So now we look at the next fixture that I've put a prediction in, which is a 2-1 win to Aston Villa against their Midlands rivals, Wolves. Again, if we look at their last six matches, it's interesting because you'd probably, most people would think that Aston Villa may well hold the advantage here. They don't. They actually have only won one of the previous six fixtures between the two, with Wolves having three victories and the remaining two obviously being draws, which is probably quite surprising to most casual observers. If we look at the team news, Matty Cash, Bubakar, Kamara, Tyro Mings, they are the confirmed absentees for Aston Villa. As far as um, other sort of team news of interest to you, Diego Carlos, who replaced uh, Lamare Bogard at halftime against Young Boys. Um, so he may well start on the, the game later today with Ensry Consa moving to right back, possibly. Um, we've also got the Wolves team news. Again, their, their treatment table looks to be quite um, busy. Uh, confirmed absentees are players like Ryan Aiknori, Enzo Gonzalez, Sasha Kaladzic, Bubakar Traore, Bastian Mipiu, uh, Toti Gomez and Yerson Mosquera. Those two are considered to be very doubtful for this fixture. Um, again, home advantage, slightly better squad. And the fact that Wolves have quite a, a long list of players that are out, as you can see there, I've gone for a 2-1 win to the home team. Now we're going to have a little look at the fixture between Crystal Palace and Manchester United, which is the 5.30 kickoff today. The head-to-head -head record between these two, um, Palace have got two wins in the previous six, Manchester United three, with the remaining fixture being a draw. Team news. We've got from Manchester United, we've got Mateus Franca, Chad, Chaddy Riyad and Rob Holding uh, are all out um, for Crystal Palace. And Maxence Lacroix and Eddie Nketiah, it said that they should keep their, their starting place in the uh, Palace lineup. If we then turn our attention to Manchester United, um, Victor Lindelof, Luke Shaw, Rasmus Hoyland, Tyrell Malassia, Lenny Euro, out. All out, gone, see you later, take the day off. Rasmus Hoyland and Mason Mount, they have returned to training. There is an element of doubt as to their participation, whether they'll start, whether they'll be on the bench or involved in the squad at all. Um, despite that fact, those facts, I've actually slightly edged, as you can see, for a 2-1 win to the away team. I don't think this is a vintage Manchester United by any stretch of the imagination, but I just think that they might have a little bit too much in the tank for Palace to handle. But you might disagree. Get stuck into that. Now we're going to have a little look at the two Sunday fixtures with um, a little bit more focus. Uh, the first one being the Brighton-Nottingham Forest game, which, as you can see there, I've said will be a 1-0 win to the Seagulls. You might disagree. Let's have a little look at their head-to-head -head record. So in the previous six meetings between these two, three wins to Brighton and Hove Albion, two wins to Nottingham Forest with the remaining fixture being a draw. Team news from Brighton's side. Uh, João Pedro is going to be assessed ahead of the game. James Milner, Matt O'Reilly, Brian Gruder and Solly March, they are all out and won't feature in this match. As far as Nottingham Forest are concerned, Ibrahim Sangare, Willie Bowley, they are doubts for the fixture. They missed the 1-0 win last weekend at Anfield. Uh, the only confirmed absentee is Danilo with Callum Hudson-Odoi and Anthony Alanga, both very likely to return to the starting eleven. Despite that bit of good news for Nottingham Forest, I have, as you can see, gone for a 1-0 win to the home team. Uh, and speaking of the home team, I've uh, I've done the same in the remaining fixture, which, as you can see there, is a battle between the top two teams for the last two Premier League seasons, Manchester City, Arsenal, at the Etihad. Um, if you look at their head-to-head -head last six, Manchester City have three victories, Arsenal with two, and the remaining fixture being a draw. If we look at the team news, Nathan Ake and Oscar Bob, they are both confirmed absentees for the game at the Etihad. 
Kevin De Bruyne went off in a nil-nil draw with Inter. He is going to be assessed ahead of the game. Phil Foden, Ilkay Gundogan is very are very likely one of those will come in for Kevin De Bruyne should he not make it. As look as far as the the news for Arsenal is concerned, it's a little bit more that they've got to contend with, but probably a few of them are probably not huge misses because they're probably used to the fact that Kieran Tierney's out injured. Um, They've got Takahiro Tomiyasu um, as well that won't be involved. Mikhail Marino, Alexander Zinchenko, Martin Odegaard, they're all um, on the absent list. But however, one returnee will be obviously Declan Rice, who missed the fixture against Tottenham Hotspur due to the, the ban that he was serving for the two yellow cards he'd received in the previous fixture. Um, despite that fact, I have actually gone, as you can see, for a 1-0 win to Manchester City. The champions, I think, will just have a little bit too much quality for Arsenal. But you may well disagree with all of these things besides. And I may well disagree with myself, having said all of this, because I do have until 3pm today to change my mind on any one of these six fixtures and put myself in the shake-up to win a quarter of a million pounds. Now, if winning a quarter of a million pounds isn't enough of a tempter for you, you also have the opportunity at the very least, if not actually getting some money in your back pocket, to score something of a moral victory over this gentleman here. Yes, Jamie Carragher, the former Liverpool and England defender and current Sky Sports pundit, the Scouse windbag, as I call him. You do have the opportunity to go head to head with him each match week and see if you can claim at least a moral victory. If you look here, this is the previous round of fixtures. They took place of the over the Champions League um, midweek games. As you can see there, they were my predictions against the results. And Jamie Carragher got eight correct results, no correct scores for eight points in total. However, I got 10 correct results, points and uh, zero correct scores. And I therefore got 10 points. I beat Jamie Carragher on this particular weekend. How's your luck, Jamie? But anyway, so please do pop along, as I say, um, to the Sky Sports Super 6 website. As you can see, as I say, quarter of a million pounds is what you can win. It's completely free to enter. Please make sure you read both the frequently asked questions and the terms and conditions before you consider going any further with this. You can go to the West Ham Massive League, as you can see there, and it's on the ticker at the bottom. Echo Bravo 53 November 8 is the pin number to get in. There are 26 members there. We've already off and running, but the fact that you're joining late doesn't mean that you can't jump in and join in the fun and we'll just have a little bit of banter and all we'll take the mickey out of one another. That's it for me. Um, I'm going to disappear now. Um, and as I say, guys, as I always ask you guys to do and you don't let me down, please don't forget to like comment on and share this stream to your social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're new around here and don't forget to hit the bell icon for alerts and new content. Remember, all these things are three, free of charge to you. They take you a couple of seconds to implement and they help to grow the channel into something bigger and better down the track. And we thank you as very much indeed for your support in this matter. I'm going to disappear. Um, got the Chelsea game to pop off to. So I'll see you later on. Hopefully that will be three points, but I'm not overly optimistic if I'm being honest and you'll know that if you've seen the match preview that we did as a live stream last night and if you haven't seen it please go back onto the West Ham Massive channel and check that out come on you Irons don't forget to give your support to the Irons Supporting Food Banks charity we will see you next time take care Irons Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream Come on, you irons. Oh, first time on last year, and where we